Hey YouTube, how's it going? This is Alpha Prime of Prime Union, and I am bringing you part six of a 12 part series on Prime Cores. And in this video, we are gonna touch up on uh, one of my favorite Prime Cores, and that is the Micronus Core. Now the Micronus Core is uh, a core that I think is uh, a very staple core in the game. It's, it's, a, it's a pretty easy core um, to understand and grasp. It restores health, 2.2% uh, health to all nearby teammates every five seconds. Now, the reason why I like it on Hotspot is because Hotspot has, uh, has really strong health. And so uh, he's going to get major healing bonuses from the core. And as you can see there, 2% uh, bonus health to all teammates every five seconds. Now, uh, I partner with... Uh, LJ Cool 110. He plays uh, Transformers Earth Wars, and he also does some pretty awesome videos on uh, on Transformers content. And he's got a great blog, GamingFans.com. And uh, on his blog here, he uh, basically uh, outlines all the different uh, Prime cores. And uh, we just go ahead and we, tick, we I clicked on uh, the best bots for the Micronus Prime core. So I'm gonna leave a a link in the description below if you want to check out his blog and uh, what I love about his blog is that he uh, touches up on all the different prime cores and he also gives you information on on the different stats too and which bots would be best so as you can see there starting at level one it reads uh, restores 0.5 percent health to all nearby teammates every five seconds with the starts at health stat increasing based on the level of the prime core. So basically at level one, 0.5%, at level six, you're gonna get 1% bonus. And uh, mine is level 18, so that's 2.2%. And when you max that out, that's 2.4% bonus health, which is stronger than a rejuve core, which only kills one bot. Now bots that he thinks are great are the ones that hang back uh, behind front lines, but basically any bot that is kind of like a, a bot that um, is uh, in the middle of, of the group, because you, you, you want that core to touch as many bots as, as possible, and the radius is, uh, is a little bit bigger than uh, the AoE area of like say a jazz shot. In the game, and that area, would any bots that are in that area are going to get healed uh, for five uh, every five seconds for uh, a percentage of whatever, how, how, however high you want to get it. So he recommends gunners or uh, or a healer, uh, but I like I like uh, tanks because I I think the tanks are gonna, at the at the front of your battle. They're going to take the most damage, and you want to make sure that they're getting healed all the time. So in my uh, walk team, I I use Prime as well. And so Bly Prime is at 2300 health. And so he's getting over 500 health every second, uh, every five seconds with that Micronus core. And my hotspot is getting another 450 health every five seconds. So that's pretty sick healing there. That's over 950 healing for just the two bots alone every five seconds. So, I mean, if you extrapolate that over a whole battle, that's 36 times that your, your bot's gonna get healed. And of course, you know, you're, you're going to start off at, at a healthy, you know, 100%, so you're not getting healed in the very beginning. But uh, but worst case scenario, your bots can get healed. Like my hotspot was going to get healed over 16,000 health over an entire battle. So very impressive core. I love this core for uh, walk attacks. And so I'm going to show some replays uh, to you guys and show you how I get it done with uh, the Micronus Core. But uh, other bots to mention that are great for the Micronus Core, um, you know, a bot like uh, uh, Sentius Magnus would be great because he's another bot that you want to typically use in a, in a walk team. Uh, I also use the, the, the Micronus Core on uh, a bot like uh, Windblade because uh, Windblade get, has that ability to jump around on battle. So basically, I could get her anywhere I want uh, my team to get healed. So I'll just put it on, I'll slap that my cross core on her sometimes on a rush team. And uh, we're going to show you some replays of how to use this Micronus core effectively. But um, basically, yeah, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say for this Micronus core in the description below. But without further ado, let's uh, take a look at uh, the Micronus core in action. So here we go. This is my first attack, and uh, people ask me about my walk team, and this is a walk team that I really enjoy. 
And as you can see here, uh, I use two healers, I use three gunners, and two tanks and a jet, like jet fire, as you can see there, just to uh, one shot uh, some defenses that are that are by themselves. Because uh, uh, if I can't take out a, a defense with with uh, that's clumped, I use jet fire typically. But as you can see there, I've got the Micronus equipped to a hot spot, and uh, as you can see there, it restores 2.2% health to all nearby teammates. So as you can see there, with a walk attack, your team is all clumped together nicely like that. And as you can see. They're all getting healed at the same time every five seconds, and uh, and you can see I got mine to level 18, which is very strong, and it's uh, basically on par with a uh, a gold rejuvenate core, and but this one is is special because it can heal the whole team instead of just one bot. So you can see there, I just uh, have a walk team as such, and uh, because uh, I've got two strong healers, they're able to keep the, my team healthy. And I'm able just to power up slowly on a base there, even with uh, strong defenses and uh, maxed, uh, really strong outpost bots. When you got two healers going at the same time, uh, it really makes for, uh, or two strong healers, uh, it really does uh, help uh, keep your team healthy and able to beat some of the best bases in the world there. So that's the Micronus core in action uh, with a walk team. I definitely recommend it. Uh, on a walk squad because uh, you're going to uh, be clumped together more and take advantage of all that healing that that Macronus core is going to do. So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, a few more replays before our time expires there. Uh, so I've just been so busy with uh, with things and uh, today was a holiday. It was uh, family day today so I was uh, busy out with uh, family doing things here. So I should be able to get a few more replays in before uh, that clock runs out. So I'll share a few more of my attacks with you guys. So uh, as you can see there, uh, my base was actually base four in this war against them. And that's kind of interesting because um, I swapped out that silver adaptive core just for fun to see how I would place now. And as you can see there, I'm base four, which is pretty high. And I do have all gold cores on my base. Uh, which will probably count for why. I am placed so high now. So as you can see here, the Micronus core is working really well because my team is kept together here. And uh, so that mortar is no big deal, especially with uh, with the Micronus core. Even if I have the two healers running off to try and heal uh, jet fire, it's gonna, my team's gonna stay healthy here and uh, because of that Micronus core. And as you can see, as he, Hotspot walks around now, he's a little bit on his own there. So that's that's the key, is trying to keep the team together. And as you can see there, uh, Micronus uh, is in range of Prime, and Prime got healed for 522 health there, which is really nice. So, uh, love this Micronus core. I think it's actually one of my favorite cores of all of them. It keeps your healers healthy too, because the healers, typically if you only have one healer in battle, he's not going to heal himself. So uh, the Micronus core will keep uh, your healers healthy. And as you can see there, my team split up. I didn't uh, put, I didn't place my placement on this base very well. So Thorin 202, great base, split up my bots, and that's why I brought a combiner just to be safe. And uh, I only deploy the combiner if I need it. You always want to try and get 225 for your team, so always bring a combiner and be safe, and just deploy their combiner if you need it. So there you go. This is my attack, and it, basically from here it's just. Uh, I'll walk from here. As you can see, all my team is clumped together. So uh, minus a few bots that I lost. And uh, that Macronus is keeping uh, Hotspot and Prime healthy there as they lead the charge into battle. So just fast forward that a little bit more. And, uh, you know, it's pretty much uh, that's all, all she wrote. You just got to walk slow with Macronus. And as you see there, the, like, the Solus Prime Core working as well. And, uh, okay, not quite, uh, not quite the same as my attack there. As you know, they're not quite, uh, you know, they're not quite the same, unfortunately. And uh, I actually had all, as I recall now, thinking back, I didn't lose any bots there. So it's very, yeah, these replays are really, really fun. I'll show you one more replay uh, of me uh, doing a, a rush attack now. And, uh. Let's just get into this before this time expires here. Got 30 seconds, just made it. Okay, now I did a rush here uh, for uh, for base four, and uh, you'll see uh, that hotspots, uh, my Cronus core is very useful for a rush too. You're not going to get as much healing as you would over the duration of a whole 
of a whole battle. But when you're rushing your team to the HQ, that Micronus Core is going to keep everybody healthy uh, as they as they hammer away on the HQ. And uh, every uh, second is it, it counts when you're rushing a base because uh, you're having all the defenses attack you, and you got to take that HQ out as soon as possible. Okay, so here you go. I like to uh, deploy one gunner. As you can see, I've got Prima Core on uh, my Skyburst, and uh, Will Jack's got the Alpha Trion Core on him. So if you want to watch uh, my replay, my videos on Alpha Trion and Prima, or Prima, whatever way you want to say it, uh, I've got those videos in the playlist below, and I'll put that in the description as well. So once I clear the bottom there, let's see that Prima Core is just amazing. It adds that extra. 20% uh, damage, which is really nice. And from there, I just uh, rushed my guys to the top here. Unfortunately, my bots split because I didn't uh, place them very well on the bottom right. But uh, that's why, again, I bring a combiner just to be safe. And uh, don't take any chances there. Uh, I don't use Optimus Maximus much, so I figure I would just, uh, you know, brush Optimus Maximus off uh, of all the rust and uh, get a few attacks in with my combiners. So there's Optimus Maximus down, Saber rushes to the HQ, and there's uh, Swoop, and then I got a Lido one to take out that laser, and uh, my Curtis Core there uh, with Hotspot, he's going to rush right to the HQ. So you can see that the replay wasn't 100% accurate there, but uh, basically uh, no bots of mine died, as I recall from my replay, and Hotspot got in the middle there to heal up all the bots earlier. But you, you kind of get the idea of how to uh, to work this Micronus Core. You gotta keep your bots together, and it's just great for all situations. I, it's my personal favorite core. I think one of my favorite cores of all the cores. And you, there you go, there's a reward for uh, winning another Cybertron more. And uh, let's, uh, let's go ahead and let's, uh, I got one more, uh, one more replay there for you guys because I did them late. So we can actually take a look at the replays um, in uh, my uh, replay section here. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at my uh, my base 5 attack now. And uh, again, uh, I tried to do a lot of walks for you guys because you guys have been asking for walk teams. And, um, you know, if you watch me on my test account, I don't have 5 star healers. So they're not, my, my 4 star healers get the job done as well. They're not nearly as strong as my 2 5 star healers. And you just have to uh, to path well. You need to have your tanks in front when you're when you're running a walk team, and that Alpha Trident Core is going to give you more points so you can take out defenses, and that Micronus Core is going to keep everybody healthy. So you can see there, uh, my uh, my Prime is very beefy. I think it's over 500 health from the Micronus Core, and uh, you see all of my gunners there taking damage, but that Micronus Core just healed them all up there. So there you go, a boom, another another uh, burst of healing to the whole entire team. And uh, because I engaged Dasaurus there, I just don't want to play any, uh, uh, I don't need to risk anything. And I just used one of my uh, healing bombs from Ratchet there to heal up my guys to 100%. And uh, basically I have the points anyway. I've got, I've got over 35 points saved up on this base now. And I'm just going to take out Lugnut there. And see the, the the combiners. I mean, the outpost spots are very ineffective if you do a walk like this because you're just uh, engaging one of them at a time. And then I just use jet fire, as you can see at the top corner here. Uh, this base here is spread out a bit, so um, you know uh, if you do have if you do deploy a, a jet from a side, uh, he won't take as much damage as you can see there. Now uh, jet fire is in the clear. So here we go. I'm just uh, taking out uh, the defenses a little bit at a time. Uh, those uh, those shark towers are nasty business, so I used uh, uh, orbital strike there, and then I used Jazz's ability there to clean up that left side. And as you can see, the Micronus core is keeping uh, Hotspot and Prime healthy, my two main uh, bots on my walk team. And uh, from there, again, uh, I got really lucky. I only I only popped one outpost at a time, and that's why you don't. That's why I didn't need to use combiners to uh, keep my team healthy. I uh, only have to deal with. Uh, these uh, sound wave there, and then as you see, there's Gnaw over there. Uh, Gnaw's another nasty bot, and uh, Gnaw is not fun to deal with, but uh, basically it's bots that slow down the team. So in reality, um, I'm not too worried about those kind of bots that slow down my team, because I've got, uh, I've got healers working to keep my team healthy. And enough firepower from the gunners to, uh, to get the job done there. 
So basically, again, another replay that wasn't accurate. It was a victory for me because, uh, you know, uh, if you don't kill, if you kill the HQ too fast before the replay is over, then it usually becomes a defeat for some odd reason. But uh, you got the idea there. And uh, that's pretty much the Micronus core. And uh, again, uh, I'll, I'll show you uh, another screenshot of the Micronus core before we close out this video. And again, I've done videos on uh, the Alphatron core, the Solus core, which I got on my Ratchet. So um, those are all in my playlist below. You just have to go take a look and find those videos on uh, the other Prime cores. And uh, I did one on video on the Quintus Prime core as well. That one was a lot of fun to do because I just I love this core. It just it's great. Those little sharks, they give Cup that extra uh, attack damage, and uh, the and then the, of course outpost bots are attracted to the sharks, so Cup doesn't take any outpost damage, which is really nice as well. So if uh, really good core for walks, and again I have, a, I have a video on that as well. So uh, I guess that's about it for this video. Thanks for watching, and again uh, as you can see, two point two percent to all uh, health to all nearby teammates for five seconds. And if we compare that to a max rejuve now, I have a max rejuve around here somewhere. I think it's on my, uh... okay, so that's not maxed out. Uh, where is that max one? Here it is, 2.3% health as, as a max rejuvenate. So basically, uh, if you were to equip uh, Micronus core and you max out the Rick Metis core, score, it's gonna be equal to the, um, or it's going to be 1% uh, higher, actually, than than a uh, Rejuvenate Core. As I recall, 2.4% is Max Micronus. And, uh, but of course, uh, the cost of, of leveling a Core beyond 15 is very, very costly. And if you're not one of those guys who spends a fortune on Prime, on, on getting uh, Gold Cores for dupes, well, look at this here. I'm, I'm merging over uh, 20, 30 Cores here. And that's just got my my guy up one level there, 2.3 there. So basically, I've got to merge like uh, over a hundred of these gold cores in order to get it up to 20 to a maxed level. And I don't even have enough here. And look at that! Uh, look at the cost there to fuse it to level 20. So unless you've got, uh, you just gotta gotta hammer away at it a little bit at a time. I recommend, as you can see, they're using silver cores to. To fuse into your uh, to your prime cores because silver cores are easier to get, and as you can see there, I'm getting very close to maxing this out. Uh, nope, can't quite do it. But as you can see there, it's going to cost you almost 20 million to fuse from level 18 to level 20 uh, for one of these prime cores, and uh, I, def I definitely think it's worth it because uh, you're you know that extra. 2% boost is going to help come in handy for your team. But of course, uh, I don't think you you need to have it unless you have the resources to go all out on your prime cores. All right. Well, that's about it for this video. If you have any questions that I, did, I left unanswered about the Micronus core, just leave me a comment in the, in the comment section below. Uh, bots that are great for the Micronus core. Uh, I kind of touched up on that earlier in the video. But if you want to talk about that some more, let's go ahead and let's talk about that some more uh, below. All right. This is Alpha Prime of Prime Union. Thanks for watching. Peace out.